Y'all, user custom fields are such a time saver. Let me show you how I use them. You may be familiar with custom fields for contacts already. We can pop those into a message by using this little dynamic insert button, tapping dynamic field, and we have all these contact choices, right? But we have user fields too, which you might not be used to yet. So we have some default fields here, like my email, my first name, but below the opt out user dynamic field, these are my custom fields. So for example, if I am in a conversation with somebody and we want to hop on a Zoom really quickly, I can select this, tap the check mark to confirm and say, hey, let's meet over here you in five, right? So I don't have to memorize that link. I don't have to hop off project broadcast to go grab that link. I'm just going to go ahead and send this message. Let's meet over here. My zoom link populates and I let them know I'll see them in five minutes. So how do you do this? I will show you in the more tab. You're going to go ahead and go to custom field names in the settings section. And as you'll see, there's contact fields here. I have user fields here. So I already have a spot for my office hours link, the quick start, my dial pad number, just things I find myself using a lot in messaging that I don't want to get out of project broadcast to go grab and come back to project broadcast and share. So let's say I find myself sharing our YouTube channel link a whole lot. I want to go ahead and create a field for that. Custom field name is YouTube. I'm going to go ahead and save that. And then I'm going to pop our YouTube link over here in the more tab. Again, user custom fields in the account section. And I'm just going to go over here to YouTube, copy that. I'll never have to do that again because I'm storing it now. And that just goes here in the YouTube field. And I'm going to tap the save icon here. And now when I am in a chat with somebody, I can say something like, you haven't checked out our YouTube channel yet. Go ahead and look at that here. Dynamic insert, dynamic field, user. And it hasn't quite updated yet. That is okay. Let me do a <laughs> refresh here. I might even do a hard refresh. Sometimes it takes a second. It's technology, right? So I'm going to go ahead and see if it is here for us. User and YouTube. So now when I pop this into a message, instead of having to hop off project broadcast, like I've said a few times and hop back over, I'm just going to insert this into a message and it will direct them to my YouTube channel. I would love to hear either how you are using user custom fields already or what ideas this video has generated for you. How are you going to use Project Broadcast user custom fields? I hope this tip helps. Thanks for learning with me.